Hi everyone, welcome back to our lecture series. This is lecture series 3 and our network security dealing with types of attacks. Thank for, thanks for your support shown towards us. Please keep supporting us. Come, let's go into the video. So, there are many types of attacks that we can see when considering the security of a network. So, when you see about the types of attack, generally the type of attack only is divided into different kinds, like attacks known by the public users. Might mean they, they may not be technically strong. So, public users, how they see? Based on that, it is divided into different types. Technically, it is divided into different types. Practically, it is divided into different sites. Now, attacks known by the public user is of three types. That is criminal attack, publicity attack and legal attack. Now, coming into criminal attack, what happens is, here the attacker will be focusing only on how he can he or she can maximize the financial gain by attacking something how a financial gain can be done that is what the criminal attacker will think of so based on that there are different criminal attacks happening across the network one is fraud second is scam destruction identity theft ipr theft and brand theft so fraud is nothing but modifying some data when one user is talking to the other user communicating to the other user modification of data or alteration of data that comes under fraud that is he might not be visible to the other people but he does something wrong scam is nothing but it is kind of fraud but it deals with more number of income that is, it doesn't deal with 100 rupees or 1000 rupees. You might have heard about uh, 5G and 7G scams. So, uh, how gambling was done. So, all those comes under scams. Destruction is nothing but, he will not look for a very small event to be attacked. He will completely, he will look for thing where the complete network will be destroyed. Like you, you can take an example of some companies wherein the opponent company will be uh, seeing thoroughly that the complete company or the opponent company is completely destroyed with some aspects. So they'll be working on it. So that kind of thing is known as destruction. Identity theft is nothing but uh, each and every websites a company or organi whatever organization it is, they will have their own websites. So the hackers or the attackers, what they will do is they will create a website which is looking as same as the original website. That is nothing but the identity theft. Based on that, they will steal all the information from the original database. IPR theft is nothing but intellectual property right theft. That is, if suppose if I am owning an organization, then I will have my own kind of design to design some particular um, a particular application. So I will have my own brand name, my own right, like how you file patent for your projects. So if the patent is completely stole by the stole by the attackers, then it is known as IPR theft. Brand theft is nothing but you you will not attack complete patent, but you will steal the brand name. Like if I am uh, running a company, XYZ company, with the same name, they will be, the attackers will start another organization, but the spelling might be little different, that's all. But they will completely steal the brand name, that is known as the brand theft. Now coming under publicity attack, it is nothing but the attacker wants something to be, um, like he will draw us to focus on him or her so how uh, he or she can gain a publicity or how she or he can gain fame in the media it is it is not like they are hardcore criminals that is they are not actual criminals they might be student they might be small children might be anybody but they want some fame in the media for that they may do the attack that is known as publicity attack legal attack is nothing but 
legally something is forged some company's website database is legally it is forged but the thing is when uh, when the organization owner approaches the judge telling that this is the person who has completely attacked the website the one the attacker will convince the judge that he has not done that particular attack he will keep blaming the website that is the websites or the um, uh, database which they are accessing which users are accessing it is wrong the website itself is wrong or something wrong has happened in the website when communication is taking place from one end to the other end he will legally tell that convince the judge that that the attack is not done by him so this is called as legal attack this these three attacks come under public users now when you are technically seeing there are two types of attack active and passive wherein passive attack is further divided as release of message content and traffic analysis here active attack is further divided as masquerade modification denial services where modification has another two branch namely replay attack and alteration now coming under what active attack means active attack is nothing but it is modifying some original message see you can see a sender here and a receiver here the sender is actually sending the message to the receiver so the path from sender to the receiver is the original message but there is a attacker who is sitting in between who is modifying the message so the original message sent by the sender is modified by the attacker and sent to the receiver so how these modifications are taking place is like they can they can modify the data they can do fabrication of data which will lead to denial of services you will you will be seeing what denial of services is and they are modifying the attack which can be like alteration of data replay which involves a replay attack or you, he can completely modify the original message such that the receiver doesn't know that the message is modified coming under passive attack it is nothing but the attacker doesn't modify anything he just observes what the message is sent from the sender to the receiver be clear active attack modifies the original message here passive attack doesn't modify he just observes or monitor what messages is sent from one end to the other end so here uh, in passive attack we have to be very clear that we have to think only how to prevent this observing i mean this atta attacker from observing the message uh, you cannot just detect um, or take any action on him you have to make some measure that this attacker will not be able to read the message right and coming under the subdivision of active attack masquerade replay attack alteration denial of services see obviously the name tells alteration is nothing but changing of original message and masquerade is nothing but when un unauthorized that is the third person this is the one person sitting at one end to communicate with the other person this is the third person who is known as the unauthorized person he pretends to be the person who is already communicating with the other person so here this darth is pretending to be the bob who is communicating with the allies so pretending to be somebody and modifying all the data is known as masquerade replay attack is nothing but see you have a server you can uh, take the server as bank server and this is the victim that is this is the user who is connecting to the server to transact some amount now here the attacker is sitting who is doing replay attack that is this attacker will observe the password or username sent by him and he will try hacking that by again and again putting wrong password so that completely it will be hacked complete data as will be hacked it it will not be used used for any person so if it is not used for any person then it is known as denial of services it can be used but he will be trying to modify all the data as like he will be replaying resending otps so that he can hack some data so he will be trying to do that then that is known as replay attack if suppose if the same thing is done number of times the attacker uses the same thing to attack the data then he might obviously have the denial of services he, the complete data will be blocked so that even the original user cannot use the data so this is known as denial of services under 
practical side of attack you have application level and network level where application level is dealing with credit card or debit card information modification like uh, the attacker will access the datas of the credit card he will modify the datas and he'll also like uh, he will completely uh, hack the uh, credit card or debit card information and network level is nothing but here uh, it is like the security level attacks happens in all these two layers application and network layer so in network layer what happens is if the hackers start attacking then completely the network is slow down and uh, once for all sometime it will be halt it will come to the halt position so the attacker here he will be he will just not observe the database or server attacking he will see in which port the data is transferred and what intrusion or firewall it is the particular network is using so all those he will be monitoring and completely halting the performance of the network so these are the types of attack you can see in the network security stay tuned for more information thank you